Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Carmine from New York here, coming to you with another class, giving you my 50 years experience as a photojournalist here in New York City. I hope everyone's doing well. Today is November 10th. This morning I was outside. I had a changed air filter on my car. Um, and I was looking around and I said, geez, you know, uh, here in New York, most of the leaves uh, have turned yellow and orange and red and have blown off the trees already. And I said, oh, I'm so glad I went out earlier uh, over the last three weeks and photographed the autumn. I love the autumn. Um, it's where else, not where else, but when, when else in the year can the, can nature change the color of the landscape? Okay. It can turn it white in winter, especially here in the Northeast. We'll get a lot of that and gray, but white and gray doesn't make for a great color photograph. So, uh, I was thinking about uh, all the photographs I took. I took over 900 keepers uh, of this year's autumn uh, fall colors. And I have them all, most of them in all the photographs, uh, most of the videos I've put out, uh, September and October and November. Um, but what I want to do is I just want to uh, show you one thing. The Nikon D3 with the ED lens, the 24 to 85, right? I took this out to photograph the autumn or fall colors this year with great success. I took the Olympus OMD EM1 uh, Mark II uh, with the 12 to 100 Olympus lens. I took this out to photograph the leaves and even the little guy, even the Olympus. Uh, this is the EPL eight with the seven artisans, 12 millimeter, 2.8. I took this little guy off. Oh, of course, with the VF two electronic viewfinder. I took this out as well. And one or two other cameras. I took them out, photographed, landscapes highlighting the beautiful autumn leaves and <clears throat> what i want to do is i just want to point out uh a few things in the comments below i'm going to put you my favorite poem i won't read it i won't bore you uh it's called autumn by john clare i'll put it in the description below uh i just want to say uh I just passed uh, like my 13th month uh, putting out YouTube videos. I want to thank you guys so much. We've got over 740,000 views. I want to thank you guys so much. If you would hit the little, there's a little red square. I think it's, I think it's right over here somewhere. It's a little red square button. You could tap that and subscribe comment below, uh, email me black and white photo at AOL.com. Ask me any photographic question you have. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And also I haven't mentioned this in a while. Go to my absolutely free website. It's called CarmineTaverna.com. This is what it is. You can't buy anything on this website. This website has, I don't know how many thousand, I think I'm up to 4,900 of my professional photographs covering everything from street photography to landscape, some paid photo shoots that I got permission to put the photographs that they paid for on this, my website too. This is what it's about. In most of the photographs on this website, it'll list where, when, and how each photograph was taken with the equipment. And what it does is you could scroll through all of them. You could put in the search bar, what 
genre you're looking for, landscape, street, Manhattan, or whatever, Pennsylvania, <laughs> anything, uh, and it'll come up. Uh, it's just there to help you break out of you know like how a writer has writer block? They could just stare at their computer or typewriter and not no words come out. They have a block. Maybe it eventually breaks free. But uh, what my website's there for is to break you free of photo block. It's a term I invented. Photo block is when you have fantastic gear. You've got the top of the line gear or vintage gear. And you're all set. You have a time, you have the time, but you don't have the place. You don't have the place in your head to go photograph. Even if it's a rainy day, my website will give you rainy day photographic ideas like macro and still life. I have a whole line of photographs on dead Mother's Day flowers or Valentine's Day flowers. How dead roses as they hang from the stem, are absolutely beautiful photographed in black and white. You can do it with a digital camera. Just put it on black and white or in your post-processing, make it black and white. That's just one idea. But I haven't mentioned my website in a while and I thought I would do it now. Okay, let's get to the point of the story. This is all about autumn. Uh, depending on where you live, if you live north of me, those leaves are way gone. The trees are bare and you might be getting a flurry tonight of snow. But if you live south of me, you still have the opportunity to photograph some fall leaves. The reds, yellows, oranges, just absolutely beautiful. All right. Uh, I don't want to keep you too long. What I want to do now is I want you to sit back and relax. Listen to some beautiful music and watch my photographs on a slideshow go by you and I want you to get ideas on landscape photography in the autumn. Maybe it's something you never thought about that the subject is the leaf. You don't have to go and get a model and put the model in the landscape. You don't have to get a vintage car and make the vintage car the subject. This is all about having fun with what's there. So enjoy these autumn or fall, depending on uh, how you like to term it. Enjoy these fall photographs taken by me. Hit the subscribe button. I think it's here. I could be wrong. It could be over here, but I think it's over here. It's hard to tell. All right, guys, read the poem below. You're going to enjoy it. Let's look at the photos right now. 